So now in order to overlay that avatar video on top of the screenshot, we're going to use a free tool called the No Code Architects Toolkit. This is actually a API you can deploy on the cloud. It's totally free to download and use that will give you access to tons of different abilities to work with video, merging video. It does a bunch of stuff. I encourage you to go through the documentation and just see what it's able to do. It's able to transcribe videos, convert videos, create MP3s. So now just to go over this just a bit so that you understand is that this tool here, the No Code Architects Toolkit is using a free tool called FFmpeg. And it just allows you to do a lot of different video manipulation, image manipulation. It's a totally free tool. And what we did is we took this tool and we packaged it into an API that you can deploy on a low cost server. And the tool itself is free so that you can do this type of work. And essentially what it's doing is it's doing some cropping to make sure that the image is in the right spot and the video is in the right spot and that also we took out the green screen and overlaid it on top of the image. And it's doing that all in one command using all of these different values here. So now we should be able to execute this step. It's processing everything. And now if we come back to our automation here, we've already got the response from the toolkit here. If you haven't yet, you can always test the trigger to see if something's coming through. Here we go. We got a status code 200. That means it was successful. So now all we need to do is update Airtable with our video. So we'll come here to the table, go to videos, and we will go to the body, scroll down. We're gonna use the ID. Again, remember we passed the record ID to the toolkit so that when it was done, it could send it back to us so we knew which row to update. Now we'll go to the fields, we'll go to the combined video, and we'll go into the body, and we'll drop in the URL from the video. We'll go into the response. Here's the file URL, we'll grab it. We can go ahead and run as configured. We'll go ahead and turn on the automation, jump back to the data, and here is the combined video. So now we have that screenshot, and now the AI video here. 